injustice, the economic injustice, and the environmental injustice continues to live and breathe in our country. These are the areas where COVID ravaged my district because of the comorbidities that exist due to the climate crises and environmental racism. These are the areas where public housing continues to crumble because the federal government has not given a dime to public housing in 10 years. These are the areas where our public school infrastructure continues to fall apart because it's 100 years old. These are the areas where children are living with lead paint and, and developing cognitive difficulties because they live with lead paint and we're not doing a damn thing about it. This is the area where Robert Moses built the Cross Bronx Expressway that destroyed the Bronx that now has people inhaling these fumes that are leading to asthma, upper respiratory illness, and horrible qualities of life. Now, I love my entire district, but I need to contrast Yonkers, Mount Vernon, New Rochelle, and the Bronx to Scarsdale, Mamaroneck, Ryan, Bronxville. Yeah. Because if you live in my district and you're white, you're more likely to be wealthy. You're more likely to go to fully funded schools. Yeah. You're less likely to have asthma. Yeah. And you're more likely to have green, beautiful places to hang out, play, and live. That shit ain't right. Yeah. So, I am unapologetic. I ran for office to represent those who have been marginalized, neglected, and disenfranchised in my district. So now is the moment where we have to go big or go home. Because during the New Deal, let me see if I can get back up there for a minute. That's okay, I got balance. So when the New Deal was implemented, 
and we rebuilt America. We kept out care workers, we kept out farm workers, and we redlined black communities. And we, and we freaking devalued those communities just because they were black. And over 30 years, we gave almost 200 billion in home loans to build the white suburbs while black communities were left to suffer and claw and scratch and die. Now there's another part of this we don't talk about often. Talk about it. Talk about it. Not only did they redline us, they drafted us first for Vietnam. And then when we came back, they didn't have no jobs for us, but they had heroin for us. They had drugs for us. And they had fucking police for us. No jobs, but they have police. No jobs, but they have crack cocaine. They occupy our streets, they mass incarcerate us, but they leave us food insecure in transportation deserts and our buildings and schools falling apart. Fuck that! We gotta go big and take it to another level. And this is our moment. This is the moment! And I'm not coming by myself. I got my sister, Cori Bush. I got my sister, Congresswoman Ocasio-Cortez. I got my other sisters, Ayana and Ilhan and Rashid. But, 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 even more importantly than that, we got the Bronx in this fight. We got Mount Vernon in this fight. We got Yonkers in this fight. And we're bringing Yonkers, Co-op City, Edenwall, Wakefield, New Rochelle. We're bringing the hood with us to this fight. Because, because the hood, they, we've been led to believe that this is not our fight. We've been led to believe that nothing can change and make this world a better place. But we have proven that wrong right now in this moment. Sunrise is proving that wrong right now in this moment. So we're at the White House today, but we're gonna be in your house tomorrow. In this country, that is where we're going. Peace and love to you all. It's my honor to be with you all. Let's continue to fight together. Thank you all so much.